Good afternoon. Uh, thank you to NOAA and to UNEP uh, for hosting this wonderful workshop. Um, we are pleased to be here uh, with friends, colleagues, and even critics uh, to listen, to learn, and to be uh, a partner with you in seeking solutions to this important issue, the objectives of which we all share. Uh, my name is Steve Russell. I'm the Vice President of the Plastics Division at the American Chemistry Council in Washington. I'm here with my colleague Jean-Pierre de Greve of Plastics Europe in Brussels. Uh, our organizations represent the companies that manufacture plastic resin uh, in the United States and Europe. Uh, plastic resins, uh, when applied uh, in their applications, can help reduce energy usage and reduce emissions. They can help consumer protection and they can help deliver the innovations in health care and in the delivery of safe, affordable food. At the same time, if not used properly and managed at the end of their life, they can become the problems that we're talking about today, the problems that none of us want to see. So ACC and Plastics Europe have, uh, over the past several years, separately and independently engaged in programs uh, in working with partners to address marine debris. Over the last several months, we identified an opportunity to work more closely together uh, on our shared commitments to working to improve ocean health. We expanded our dialogue subsequently to include colleagues and sister associations from across the globe. And although we have informally collaborated with those organizations in the past, this is the issue on which we have agreed to come together in a more formal way. And so I am uh, excited and pleased to uh, announce today with Jean-Pierre uh, some commitments that have been made by 47 different trade associations coming from 29 different company, countries across the globe. As a result of their commitments uh, and the declaration that Jean-Pierre will, will speak to in just a moment, we believe that we will provide a constructive contribution to the commitments that others are making here. We look forward to working with you on the Honolulu strategy to fulfill its destiny, and we appreciate very much the opportunity uh, to share your time here at the conference. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Indeed, my name is Jean-Pierre de Greve. I am the Deputy Executive Director of Plastics Europe, which is the European Association of Plastics Producers. So in fact, we would like to focus on the six uh, following items. Yes, we would like to, to focus on the six following items because we believe that it is in these areas that we can uh, provide the highest added value in order to help uh, shape uh, solutions. The first one, next slide please. I see, okay. Uh, doesn't work. The first one is uh, contributing to solutions by working in public-private partnership uh, aimed at preventing marine debris. This is, for example, related to the production of educational kits to be distributed uh, in school and uh, to be uh, presented by representatives of the industry. The second is uh, working together with the scientific community and researchers to better understand and evaluate the scope and the origins and impact of and solutions to, to marine uh, litter. Of course, this will not solve directly the problems, but it will help us to define and hopefully agree on our priorities. The third is to promote comprehensive science-based policies and enforcement of existing laws to pre prevent marine litter. There are legislations regarding marine litter, but some of them are not respected. And it is very important to make sure that these legislations are not only applied, but also controlled appropriately. The fourth one. is uh, help uh, spread knowledge of eco-efficient uh, waste uh, management system and practices, particularly in communities and countries that border oceans and uh, watersheds. 
In fact, uh, in Europe, for example, uh, there are 27 uh, countries in the European Union, and there are some countries which have achieved significant results regarding collection, recycling, and recovery of plastic waste. Some of them have even achieved 100% of uh, recovery, which is impressive. On the contrary, others have uh, almost achieved nothing. And we would like to contribute, really, to disseminate the best practices in order to help the authorities to adopt the best uh, solutions. The next one, enhance opportunities to recover plastic products for recycling and energy recovery. Yes, we believe that uh, the authorities should definitely develop collection schemes because as soon as uh, the plastic, plastic waste is collected, it's very easy to recycle it or to recover it and recover uh, the corresponding energy. And last but not least, and this is much more connected to the industry production chain, steward the transport and distribution of plastic resin pellets and products from supplier to customer to prevent product loss and encourage our customers to do the same. As you can see, all of that is linked to education. Education at school, education in the industry, education of the stakeholders, the citizens, and also education of the authorities. All these human beings sometimes do not understand why we need to make progress regarding marine debris. And I thank really uh, Jean-Michel Cousteau, who yesterday very much insisted on educational program in this uh, field. So thank you very much for your attention. We are all within the plastics industry all over, around the world uh, prepared to work together with all interested parties in order to prepare the future. Thank you.